Tom Holden, Tyler Harriman, and Timothy Hurlbut tonight. Maryland on the road in red. Ohio State has the white jerseys on. We are off and running. Good wing play, earning the ground ball. That's Cullen Brown, 42 in the white. His dad played in the National Football League with the New York Giants. Cullen, the son of Roger and Courtney, getting the first possession for the Buckeyes. Real big for Ohio State to get that opening draw. Snapshot ripped there, Ruppel off of him and in. It bounces home. Dylan McGee strikes swiftly. If you're an Ohio State fan, you love this start for a myriad of reasons. One, you win the opening faceoff against Luke Wehrman. And two, Dylan McGee scored the first goal of the game two weeks ago in a home victory over Rutgers. He starts the party again tonight. Nothing fancy here. Well-placed shot. Ruppel read it, but he couldn't get over in his entirety to stop it from deflecting. Sweep matched up with Nick Red, short stick defensive midfielder for the Terps. Allen, skip it on through. Snapshot score, Colby Smith. The Maryland defense has to respect the speed and the athleticism of Ari Allen. So you're not going to see them jamming him or putting a stick in his gloves because they're worried about the dodging ability. Well, Ari Allen shows off his feeding chops on this one. Feet planted, hands free, and he finds Colby Smith, the sharpshooter for the Ohio State Buckeyes. He can be a stretch shooter. He's great inside. If you're going to let the feeders for Ohio State have their arm from West Point, transferring in from Army. Irks up, swing it, pass to the interior, snapshot score. Daniel Kelly has goals in all 10 games this season. This Maryland attack does not have a have the dodging prowess that they had a year ago, even two years ago. Maltz and Kelly are really great shooters. Maltz has routed out his game to be more of a threat, but look at Kelly. You cannot let number 45 in red have that kind of space to operate. That had to be a defensive miscommunication by the Ohio State defense. Is there now Zach Whittier, second line midfielder, works back behind the cage. Plays the two-man game, and that's a howitzer. Kelly, no mistake. We talk about the dodge of, la of, of dodging presence, the, the lack of dodging presence for Maryland. Ohio State has a short stick on Daniel Kelly. And their job basically is just to be in his hip pocket and to not allow him to do this. You can't let 45 free. And Maryland right now is feasting on the lack of discipline, really, for the shorty unit for Ohio State. We've yet to see Connor come Guy back there. So tough to beat. And they were humble last week against Penn State with that run. We're also seeing Johnny Cool, a freshman number 20, getting some minutes down low this week for Ohio State. Wallen actively out of that goal crease, earns the ball for Ohio State. It's a 2-2 game. We've crossed the midway mark of the opening quarter. The Big Ten standings up to the minute with hesitates, fidgets right to the goal, and Wallen straightens up and stuffs him. Wow, what a save by Wallen. I love how he makes himself bigger in the goal. And what I mean by that is he doesn't guess, he doesn't The stadium, the Buckeyes average 14 goals a game on home turf. I'm going to say it's at least half a goal advantage for Ohio State tonight, the juice by this home crowd. Over the top score, Sheehan. We just crowned an NCAA basketball champion, but watch Sheehan post up after we saw some brilliant goaltending. Wallen denying Irksa on the doorstep. Not tonight, number 10. And then how about Rupel? Look at Colby Smith. Slick behind the back. Rupel kick save and a butte. But then we're going to have Sheehan do his best power forward in imitation. Post up. 
Square up, finish. Buckeyes with the tally. Who has the last goal on the board has given the Buckeyes the advantage. 10 running for cover against Trader. McGee getting a step on his short stick defender. Sheehan to the interior. Score! Was he in the crease? The officials confer. And they're going to wash it out, it appears. It looked to me that his foot may have been in the crease before he shot, right there. Great call by the officials. Great mechanic as well. The single side official, the official that showed momentum took him in. Let's see. Yeah, I don't like that one at all. I don't, I don't like that. Dante Trader did not extend those arms from what I just saw. Extra man opportunity for Ohio State. The Buckeyes, 46.4%. That's second best in the Big Ten. You'll see the special teams numbers at the top of the screen. A whistling drive upstairs. Another BB for the Buckeyes. DeChico, a Swiss Army knife for Nick Myers, showing off his offensive abilities. First goal of the season. That was a dart. And that's what you want from your lefty EMO player. DeChico, I don't know if he was really expected to shoot this one. Just steps in. No one closed out. It was early in the sequence, but you have to love the confidence, the step towards. McGee driving in against Lacey. Help comes from Zapatello. Myers and Smith collaborating on this side of the field. Off the ISO, sideline score! Borda! It's three unanswered for Ohio State. Sensational pick set by the Buckeyes. And the Maryland defender was a little bit flat-footed on this dodge, which you cannot be against Borda. And that's Ajax Apatella. That's no average Joe at the top. Almost moving if you're Dylan McGee. It is not Ajax Apatella lacrosse. That's not Maryland lacrosse. Terps are starting to hurt themselves. Second extra man for the Buckeyes. DeChico cashed in on the first one. Rupel gets over there and makes a smart look and stop on Jason Knox. Knox has five goals this season, four of them via the extra man. That is a gigantic save from Brian Rupel. If, if DeChico hits that, they go up by four. Ton of momentum, bit of a hesitation delivery. I don't think Wallen expected it. That was on frame. That would have gone. Brennan leans in, he fires. That's routine for Wallen. He eats that up on the short side. Yeah, tried the same move Brennan did that Kyle Long did. And he can go into the fourth a season ago in College Park. Well, and up until the NCAA tournament, Ohio State was really the only team that challenged Maryland in the regular season. John Tillman talked about that with us this week. Sneak attack, Sheehan inside, he scores! I don't know what's going on with this Maryland defense. I'm just going to be as candid as possible. I don't know why you go here. I don't know why you slide. And I think defensive coordinator Jesse Bernhardt's asking the same question. Jack Myers hasn't won the matchup on Maycar all night. And then the slide man, Colin Burles, is like, I got to get from there to here because if I slide, the guy on the crease is going to be wide open. Trader off the split dodge. Nice hitch on the outside from Borda. Looking to create inside roll. He scores! Kyle Borda. Big deal, big Borda. The inside roll against Dante Trader. We saw Maryland beat Penn State a couple weeks ago on the prowess of their short stick D middies. Dante Trader was one of them. I think he got hurt on that play. You could see he was like grabbing the turf and he just couldn't change direction. As Borda, inside roll. Watch him get Dante Trader moving upfield, but I don't like the way Dante Trader is moving in this defensive sequence. Gets inside, that one is an eek. 
in practice. Yeah. You have not seen him take a regular run with a second midfield unit. Whittier, bounce shot, score! Zach Whittier. Big goal for the Terrapins. Zach Whittier getting the job done, winning a matchup. Love this little hitch move, little face dodge. Watch him go one-handed, right to left, get to the center of the field. And Ohio State has adjusted. They're not having the slide, so they don't. But Whittier cleanly beats his defender up to the post. Nice save by Ruppel. Ohio State still in business. Reset of the shot clock as well. Myers against Maycar. A marquee matchup. Underneath, Sheehan scores again. We saw Penn State a couple weeks ago really have a lot of success on the invert, dodging the shorties from behind the cage. But again, Maryland creating offense. That little slip, that little lean from Kohler, he's not able to get back to an upright, breakdown, good approach position. And he's behind Sheehan as he goes above goal line extended and calmly. Kelly had a couple of goals in the first quarter tonight. Skip it. Murphy over the top. He scores! Moving gingerly, Murphy fires a rocket. You can see physically how Murphy may be limited in his normal giddy up. Looks like that left ankle heavily bandaged, but he can still bring it. That's just a beautiful shot. And he softened it up. He passed it up on the one exchange from Coors. The Terrapins in extra man goals. He just cashed in again. Syracusa pulling his way in, fires and scores! Ryan Syracusa. Watch out, Maryland is starting to get some confidence and starting to find their rhythm. Syracusa, such a steady player. And we've talked about it a lot this year. Maryland's not going to wow you with those one or two guys. They don't move the ball like they did last year, and it's just a pick play. And again, poor communication. And a great recognition by Syracuse of getting to Chico on defense, and watch him plant that foot and just fits to go. Allen, change of direction. His pass was deflected. It comes up for Smith. Smith, thinking about it from down under, ran into a double team. Allen, feed it inside. Sheehan! The quick stick for his fourth in the half. This play is made by the strength of Colby Smith. This is a guy who's not incredibly mobile, but look at the strength. That's good defense right there. Lift, check, and because they couldn't dislodge the ball from Colby Smith, when he flips it to Ari Allen, Maryland goes upfield, and there's Sheehan. Wide open on the crease and just had enough English on network. Big game tonight between these two. Johns Hopkins and Penn State coming tomorrow. Outside shot. Wallen fights it off from Kelly. It's taken off the turf by Van Buren and the Buckeyes will bring it back. Ohio State attempting to creep over the 500 mark with a win tonight. They'd be six and five. Chilly night in Columbus. Temperatures in the high 40s. McGee feeds for Allen. Look away, interior pass. That bid blocked by McDonald. Off the ground, here come the Terrapins. Zapatello, the All-American. Thinking about it, fires, he scores! Ajax Zapatello. Gigantic goal for Maryland. A juice goal. Not crazy about this decision by Kyle Borda. Good look from Allen, but then you get a little too cute with it, a toe drag, trying to put it past three red jerseys. And look what happens. You come the other way. Zapatello, he's no stranger to pole goals, is able to get his hands free. The attack is locked down on. High heat from number 36. 
Second goal in as many weeks for Zapatello. He scored against Mid Myers with a sky whammy. Fires. Rupel made the save. Kicked it out to the sideline. Along the uh, sideline there, it's the clearing midfielder, Garrett Gibbons, who gets the ball. Instant replay would really be helpful. The ball squirts out. John Tillman's words look like they helped Brian Rupel. The check right there. To me, it goes off the head of a stick to try to make some confusion with that pass. Spanos doesn't have to jump up to make himself bigger. Six He's a five, child. by the way. <laughs> yeah. Seven with the ball right here. Spanos rolls underneath. Scores! Inside rolls at this goal that is underneath the Sioux have become commonplace. We saw Borda do it earlier. Now we're going to see Spanos, after helping to create the turnover, just uses his size and leverage to get inside of Connor Camille. Camille's wrist just got too high on his back. Watch it right here. And then Spanos is able to feel that and he lifts a little bit, a little bit of a chicken wing with that left hand, left arm, and it's totally legal. Had to. Who has two tonight? Borda drops it off. McGee thought about it. Sling it back. Myers on a sneak attack. He scores! Jack Myers. This is incredible offense by Ohio State. Wallen making the save at one end. Look at Course, stick in the right hand. I don't think Wallen had expected that, but he still had to stick in the right place, feet in a good position. Now watch this, Borda. I thought right here, the one more, right to the left by McGee was the look, but look at the skip pass. And you get Burles top side without an opportunity to react. Skip passes are so deals away from Van Buren. Island on Syracuse. Kelly keeps it hot. Whittier, top side score! The bounce shot beats Wallen. Whittier's second of the night. Jacob Snyder is back in the game for the Ohio State Buckeyes. His assignment is his high school teammate, Daniel Kelly. Watch Kelly create space. He's gonna drag Schneider out, and Whittier catches Camille a little flat-footed. This isn't terrible defense, but look at the urgency with which Whittier dodges, soaks the check, realizes- Brennan off the split from right to left. Island forcing him upfield. 35 on the shot clock, long on the sweep. Interior pass for Kelly deflected away. Camille comes up with it for the Buckeyes. They want to run. They got numbers. Connor Camille looking for the five on four break. Smith slings off the outside of the frame. No goal there. Caputo isolating against Lacey. McGee finds Borda backing away to get downhill on Trader. 90 seconds in the frame. That pass wide open. Sheehan has his fifth. We talked about skip passes. Ohio State didn't get the skip to Colby Smith when the ball was on the left side of the field. But Sheehan saw that there was a lane. The ball goes to the right side of the field and Borda doesn't miss. On the doorstep, Sheehan catches it, slams it home. Great vision, great finish. Syracuse, 15 seconds left in the frame. Diving effort, rack attack, score! Kelly, though, in the crease. They'll wash it out, no goal. Looked like he landed in the goal mouth, and that's a break for Ohio State. They overplayed, overshot Kelly. Great move to the cage, just lands in the dreaded goal mouth. Braden Erksa playing a two-man game with Syracuse. Syracuse, from the angle, feeds it side. Kelly scores. There's the Maryland hat trick. Incredibly unselfish 
by the Maryland Terrapins. You mentioned Zupatic being out of action tonight. Colin Brown, the freshman, is LSM one tonight. Irksa works him, draws the double, and watch this unselfishness right there. That is just great vision. A lot of players would take the shot right here if you're Syracuse. He recognizes he has the attention of Bobby Hudgens. He slides off of Kelly. Easy. Said things snowballed against Maryland last week when they lost to Michigan. Inside that pass for Lewis, he was decked. And away come the Terps off the ground with Zapatello. You can see Dante Trader, number five. You, talk, you talked about that sleeve on his leg. You can see there's a wrapping now in that upper leg area. I'm surprised Ohio State didn't go after him more. McDonald fires from deep. This is Long on the run. The C's part. Wallen makes a fine save. Long tried to go five hole. Thought he could have shot that maybe a half step step sooner. Ran himself out of a little bit of angle, but Wallen again. Syracuse marked by DeChico. Spanos' his turn with an alley dodge. Drifts below goal line extended, has the defenders hung up. Spanos has Langermeyer. Langermeyer with a wrap check. Spanos inside roll. Scores! A tale of two defensive situations for Langermeyer. Spanos is not a speed merchant. He's someone who uses his size and skill to beat you. Langermeyer did a nice job of not overplaying number seven on the previous sequence, but here he gets hung up, and he, there's no need to throw that big, heavy check and goal line extended. Spanos times it, uses his leverage against Langermeyer, sticks it. Below the goal line, feeds it there, and it's picked off by Hudgens. Marcus Hudgens, who had three cause turnovers against Penn State last week, ball down. It comes up Buckeyes. Walland is there to help support on the clear. Great Camille ground. will drag it ahead. Great ground. And here comes Island. Backs in, bounce shot kicked away. Rupel made a flashy stop. Ball down. A melee for it, and Zapatello comes up with a rock. Maryland a chance to tie this trip. Dante Trader avoids the hit in the open field, sidestepping it, but you can see Trader is ailing. He, he, that, that leg is bothering him. Zapatello gets the... Skip it on around. Chorus. From the bad angle, elects not to shoot. Irks uh, carving in. He was taken down. Faded. Kelly fire. Score! We are tied at 11. Kelly missed a few moments ago. He doesn't miss on this one. Watch John Geppert on this play. Beautiful job keeping the ball alive, preventing Ohio State from picking up the ground ball. Then we get the offense settled for the Terrapins and Daniel Kelly. Schneider goes after Irksa as the defender falls down and nobody accounts for number 45 in red. Broken play that Kelly scores on and that's an opportunity the Terps had to take advantage. An apparent equipment violation. They're saying that Fritz has the wrong colored gloves on? Maryland earlier this year called a stick check on the Princeton faceoff man after he scored a goal. And they were right. It was an illegal stick. The goal was wiped off of the board. And the penalty was three minutes non-releasable. I have no problem with that. The colors of the glove, come on. That's ticky-tack. That is ridiculous. Color of the glove does not give you an advantage. This is silly. And now they're calling for a stick check. Stick check. Oh, wow. To reset for you with 2.09 left, Maryland has picked itself up off the mat. Okay, so wait a minute. Tied the game. 
It was Ohio State that called the stick check on Stick check on Weirman. Weirman. Sure, after the glove violation. No, 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 called. Joe, I thought it was on Fritz. I okay. thought the stick check was on Fritz. So I want to be clear to our audience right. that that was not the John The glove Tillman. check, though, is Fritz. Absolutely. The stick check in response right. was on Weirman. Of course. I don't think we made that clear, though. I know I did. And Nick Myers is hot. He is hot. Maryland has poked a bear here with this glove color situation. The glove violation that was called against Coach Myers' as face-off man, Fritz, will award the ball to Maryland. So it's an illegal procedure. Drew Blanchard, who's missed the last three games now. First possession in the overtime. First goal wins it. It's first possession for Maryland. Geppert breezing ahead. Another gigantic play by number 20 in red. Second midfield unit, Joe, checking in for the Terps. They're riding with who's gotten them to this point. Spanos, Whittier, Syracuse. Shaded by Camille. Syracuse, who favors his left hand. Spanos looking over the top at six foot five. Erksa, the freshman, covered up by Jacob Snyder. Erksa has him hung up. Wallen forces it. Gets back to the goal quickly. Erksa on the move. Fires, he scores! It's the freshman who gives Maryland the overtime decision. Freshman delivers. Braden Irksa. His first goal of the game is the biggest. 